here to Tese Bay. Ulet na hiyan in Mizoram University tan sila kan. Oma Mizoram University MZU virtually when niya chan aniya, when ni hi anikan na day one aniya. So an when niya competition sang sang an siya ma tin competition may baka pon la macang te tin zilay te pon stall sang sang an naya ay tour te le til si sang sang te ami pwede ta na tim te tourin an buat siya stall sang sang te na kina at tim tour te le organize zarlam pang te po kom kan han tum doan ni tin kan han soy le do tsu hemi MZU virtually hi positive Network of Mizoram PWNM Mizau MZU Students Council MZU Red Ribbon Club M6 le UN H10 na tokhawin MZU virtually ya item shang shang tahi kalpuy aniya tin HIV le akay noy tungtang at abig takin poichi le essay le painting kantiang si te katahanin HIV lampang kay noy mang tayin zilay tayin hindi siyang na anaya anlock le turakan ngay ni. Tin positive network of Mizoram hi po positive pol ni in Dr. C. Silva ra building tu ikuat lang office an naya. HIV vay mek te ART Center le M16 nen tok hawin su ta chon inen kol na le chom dol na te an kal pui mek ah mi pui te pon lau lok pui in lau chang kai pui ulah kan tit le ane. Anong lamang kan mo ay yan ay stall siyang siyang kami virtually po ay yan siya man niya kanhan kom ko lang nga din kanhan soy ta kang kanin zirlaiten inti siyang na anay na hiyanin HIV adar zelaw na turin zirlaiten ingi anti-vet hay tite din zirlaiten makuha ngayon PWNM tele M6 te chang kopin at him siyang siyang buwat sa yan ikan tito ka ang lokle turakan ngaya so ang tunho na hiyanin kalkom te changin ingi an ngay dan tite tin stol te hi ang tiangin ngi an lut tin virtually sim sim program hi ang tin ngi an ni kat na chang hiyan an lut dan te po clear how kan tumdo na ni o kabula hiyan hay tisat an law siya min kan siya azwar tu te ikom lo kang o ang zan man te nge yaa Prepare itu kita tuh semuanya. Aku nak taruh leh aku tuh tuh semuanya jinkan leh dia. Jadi tuh ni leh M Z itu student baca he mi virtual dan ah run leh sim sim mi. Ah student lau tu pun virtual run sim 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 ni leh vet he. Run leh hint am tu em. Tu nak zaman mo eh acan tu ni tu nak tam vak lau. Ani tak su. Kan lom lu tu ke? Kan lom sel cewa doni ah. Tiada lau itu ya. Ini itu lain. Ani leh, kau yang canggah ron kal ngai ni ya, tin M Z U faculty ngai ini. Oh, ni paya mincang. Oh, M Z U faculty kan ya, English department canggih. So ane hey virtually, woi ni canggih cana ni ya, ini anu ron kal ngai to em, nang mana lau muda na? Kan lau teng klay mo, anu ron kal nual tau cuan kerja, oh anu melkop me. Ani tak tu. Ani le, i fakulti ni na soy tour. Tapi poin nga, kau bunga hey, i enge HIV cungca nga tapi pokan ram a tapi pok luar na saya memah heng cungca heng enge enge idanin i kan awareness si acatok ni ni siem tin MZU cungbi ka tapi pok hianin i awareness tapi pok in organize na sa anga kangakan enge tunaya na sa hianin sorkar ang tay NGO ang tapi pok hianin adau na konga hianin enge latise ni tour Asia tangsi. Kasihat sih, nanti M6 dia nak top tak? Amal tu untuk improve ngai tu lah, tapi kasihat mo M6 dia big kita soi tuh iya, tapi lewat kan tu top tak kan dia? Oh, masa kong sang sang ah, oh, an top tak tu kasihat? Kan lom lu tu ke? Oh, ke boleh. Oh, virtual hey team tu dah siang. Ah hey, boleh him. Tu nai enge isir me. Second semester public administration. Ani le virtually hi kumin hi enge kan anu am noan em? Apa i mail kop meo ni kum tang ay to chuan. Ani le hey i chalai ni nang in tang valin ini cukan ring hal ringot a HIV dau na chung chang a hianin i mi pati hian enge tun a hianin mei che hum him na kong a le kan society mo build am na tur hian enge kan lati thay tok ni ay shed. Ah. Madi he ni, ngat kat teh ni pang hitung mana ik insum teh ni le, inge insaton na hipoi mukti. Ani le, ni le kan misau mesia teh kan ven him dan kong ahian ni nam dang teh laka teh pon yang a, inge kan hum him chatok ni ni siem, mipani ini na angin. A chatok, view song kasiha. Kan lom lutu ke? Oh, ale ale. Ading cian na, ah, hey, wai ni inge item stay ni don me. 
Poetry competition ahan katela. Eh eh o itela chuanin anil virtually hi nge kumdang ate ila hotel to chinem. ไอ้ที่ก็เติบโดยคณะตัวเต็มอ๋อนิวสเตดียมอ๋อนิวสเตดียมอ๋ออันนี้เลยเอ็งเงี้ยนั่งมาเอ็งเงี้ยด้านน
Ani tak tu. Ani lebih ni hi, ni kum dah ngate tiang hi install hi inlaw bun tot sinem. Kau mak ni tak kisah ngan labun ngai lau, ngan wajah na virtual abis baju ni. Hei, pual bi kian ni nanti ni mo. Ani le, hei, pai ni kan dengan ngai tang valzo. Pa kan ni. Ani le, na hei, fa te pai ni ya hei ni mo. Ani le nak kena, hei, cang terzel. An lau lau om tua, hei ni pai ni nak ngin HIV dah nak cung sanga hei ni. Enge tun ai hei ni nule pati hei, lasya terse tiang si te mo turun ipek do minau sel. Nule pati ai mac jo ni. Atalai itu lampung he. Eh, kan kopi itu laka hari nomi lah. Tin patihan tu ilah. Cucu invent nak travel dengan kerja. Kopi pak hati hari nomi ka. Poi mohon mai ilang insal cek udah ni ah. Leh leh, lama. Hemi stol lah hen resting li. Ti dah utop. Ani melu dos lampung hin. Ti dah upering kerja. Tin jus lampung tepo. Anti nasa. Hey, atar lamp yang berin ti doning kerja. Ah, wain hin ni kena ni ya. Hemi resting list sim sim he hemi he in dinner itu em ti mai tiang. Oh, kum kat well tu kan rendah to. Ati ti view in sim. Ti 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 kan tui wang he kan tiang mo. Ah, ti sim sim itu tui na he kalau tu in ah kan pur wea ni apa i mau berah ha. I coffee culture tu hele kengan kalau tu in i hari. Cafe, pastries tu, teng teh, teng mocktails, teng teh, ni kan dia, cun-cun ni mai. Inilah insyaAll cakap dengan ni, oh. Baskin Robbins, ten stone, lau siapa? Hey, an ice cream hiat tui, kau mai kai pohon kai ichi na. Hey, inge virtual tan hiat in, inge stall hiat non siapa? Ati ichi dengan ni ni siapa? Oh, ati ichi kan siapa tu tu? Um, students there they meet around color and team during color and shanty and kai at the junk card in the customer to book and not visit and you and you like come down at in low to him I gave you so I I need to run free to buy shame to you can't have you cut a cut thing I don't know what I mean I need a roll turn in here HIV to talk and so they think say he hey roll turn like here in a in a fit chat light in here till and give me a la he hey ที่แหล่งเกมที่เต็มชิ้นจางนะฮิอมเวทอันนี้ชูให้มีอาเฮียนเองที่เงี้ยการอินเวนท์แห่งเอชไอวีจุงจางอาเฮียนอินอิชาไลปุยเตหันซาเวทเออกังไงเกี่ยวกับกังไงดาเบอร์ตัวนี้เอชไอวีกันมีดังเฮียนกันตีเราหน้าดินโปรเจคชันหันชัดเตลีจูไม่บอกว่าให้ขัดเจียงแล้วมากกันวักเลยว่าไม่ก็จะไม่อดีตคนไม่โปรเจคชันแค่ตัวอินไลน์เชลเจ้าดอนเนี่ยโอ้ฮัลโหลจุงเลย Kan muang hen Seoul Food Cafe di ni le ya, soan, en lau, cuy ni sal nem tu em, oh sal Venol tu, soan en enge virtual bi kah hen en invoi kati nami, oh invoi kati nami kah she, soan en ane le hey virtual, hey invoi ni kah nami ya, kal kau mi puite hen en enge in ay tour tehi, an lay du don ni ni she, um. Hey, this cake tape itu atau itu tukang kering. Ah, exam penting. Zat sumbuk teh, zat teh. Chen, ay nang lau nuai mai. Ah, ani le, i HIV lampang, i ahianin nang pon cie tam tak kena inga, i hemi kondom pai teh hian zak cina ni tam tak suanin. Ani le, kah kah dia anhan sem teh hianin, lak zak teh poin nai we cie ni, kang ahan inge chalai pui teh, ambikin mi pai teh han fui teh. Ah, azat tak lau, teh kah ni tuk mai. จากข้าวเราต้นไปเสียตัวทีนั้นอ๋อไปเสียตัวปากขัดตัวตัวอ๋อกันไปยังวางข้างอ๋อกันไปวางข้างกันว่ามังดอนทีนั้นนี่เรา
ไอ้ชายวีเอชกันเหตุส่วนนี้ให้อัมมันคอลเอาเหตุส่วนอัตตมคบเมียอัมมาสาเบราส่วนนี้เฮมีซีรีนส์เตอิมันบอลเฮีย
anile enge i ti hian in chiar thai tur topin in sop chong nge nia in sal chua sal chua o sal chua zo hi heng ho hi kan se la mo chon heng ho chu a printed pa nga in a chung lang hi chu kan sal ta awa cha ve sel chu tero at online anile hey painting le poetry vela te poi sianga competition a te team a khan in hiv chung chang te po anzia ka khanga khan enge inven dan tur ni asia nangma idea pakhat min han sil te a film khor dan chi sang sang a an soi to khami zom kha a chaber in ka sia i protection chi sang sang an soi ho kha ni zom kha kan ti tur top ani mai tar a in lai sal chaw do ni a ole mz du campus chunga kan oma he Caklama ada ujian in nuam dak mai muna lau oma MZ itu zilai ten ni tau kan dinga enge anmani polhi engkap nge emo ti mangzong tepon kang tiang tekam minhan sil masa sila. Kini hi MZ itu adventure club kan kita hela ujian in virtual polhian in fanzon kan lau buat seveta studenya mo mun danga cangaron kal titan in fiam na mul tur mun entinan hey expenditure adventure lampang kan ron pau cuak we ni tu katian an mer syat we teh nang kan kan lau pau cuak ani le engzan ngin ka pa hian om cheu member a tu na hian mi zale somriat borwel kan om i mzu member hey mzu student ta na buat sei ani wang hian in i department shang shang a changin an ron om khoma kan sin sia thei chi na chuan zale somriat borwel kan yang Ani cuanin tihian wain ani khat na ni ta ni tum cungin ti don ti nami tihian. Oh, kan tum dan tak kecuan tun kar cung hai virtual Friday leh ni ti kan tum dawa ah kan enze lang tu kan ti teh yang ang. Ani leh hai nunga kan mong hai ten tehi oma hai hi nang mani in tum cop ngen niya door lampang ten sponsor tu teh in nayam. Oh, the camp hai minun sponsor hai kum tum don ve lang tu kan kan kolap pui don ni cuma ah. Kadla akan anum ta rental anti theta equipment yang yang leiturin an neibok ta ni juta kajuan i hei anjung apa lop tu kan sehingga langa i kumtum ang ani tuang ju virtual kan neibang hian hei tiang fanzon kan mando ne biang hianin dihianin pal takin minron kalapuya pal takin an equipment ste minron hotel china hei kan lom lu tuk tiha kan sehitel bersih bersih bok ani jun ti lom am leme juan in apa hian i enge Han suya haning kai thay tu rang dek si kau min gan sia kau kau engtin geng kalpui dan tin ati mante omem. Oh, lelai masuan ini zipline ni kan tiveta zipline so i suya han waitha kan kita anu amnu tuk tani so so ah man tlem te kan cerve asum tum way kat waitha kau kan tive so so soan cakla makian in ah rifle shooting te kan tiangah kiki ah amuzir hian in i som ni kat velik ah tiangah kan tive bok kan cerve bok. So so lau du tok tay la ane lehi chalai ni ya i i i HIV chung chang a te po hiyan siya tur tam tak te po o mani tun virtually chung chang a te po hiyan competition a te po han team siang siang a mani nita e ngay lau ngay ruad da nin tun din muna hiyanin ka usan te hiyanin an to chatok ni ni siya em tin NGO te po hiyanin hei ay hiyanin lati se ti emo heng lai hei ay hiyanin awareness la kalpizo kila ti ang si te mo ngay da ni lau nai niya HIV chung chang a hiyanin ka usan le hei ko yung lau Wei, ah, wei me ang zong zang ah, tipo an to cha ka tiko pa awareness po kang kalpui na sa sa ah, hey, at hey ang angin kanin veng ti may ang katiyang akanin, ah awareness ito ah kalpui zel hi ito ala cha ka tiya tuna kan ti apo hianin at chatog tukmase at hey sam zong la kalpui zel ito cha ka ti kay po. Ani ito virtually kan na ito ngin ah customer lao ng zur zur sa Tin dua sana kan lancar oh. Kan lama ya. Hey, kabul lah ya nih. Zulai fel tak mai. Aku mah cian tenen. An lau lam vela. Ibu ini ahian in lam don tiada me. Ah, ibu ini ya cian so kan lam don lau kan lau practice nih. So an enting ni angin lam don. Nili culture cultural day oh. So an in club angzong tekan in nai nih kan sia kang tekan han soi la. Tun ku mah ya nih. Lenual Cultural Club kan dia, tu tu MZU Puala Cultural Club ding masa berani tu 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 mepual tuan kan lamang, tu meming tuan. Ani tu, ani le kumdang ada poin lau lam tu aje nem. Ah tu, 
club heading thar chawani wang hian e ke ma ni hilam ma saber tur kan ni ome ani le len rola chuanin member ang sang ni om chao member chia hi kan tam angre nga len rol school no ya hian tiang e brand sang sang troop sang sang oma nagami state tikhan aru na chalam te mizo hi pakhat kan nia so ti de chau chu kan ni kan tam angre khop mai chuanin e thil dang da ikan zo teng che hiv ilo ve ve kan ding anang ma ton shet to te po tin social media te po invena lampang song te pon gan suana se me ma tin he zil line ni mz tu zil line ni i khothang ti dan te eng eng ni hi kan la na sa ni kan lifestyle sim sima hian he hi eng e kan lak da na hian in pai do tur ngai ni shet mo he hian in hiv chung changa hian in akai kan kai dar na sa ni ni sem hemi wang hian Nia Western culture kan kopi wang po tu ani nat lay tu tam tak o mga tu ti rualin mising sim sim hi tun lay kan chalay te karual po tam tak te kanin discipline lawe kanin wong lawe lo tuhi at han pakat ani in kasya a Western culture te ang Korean pop culture te kan kopi wang tau tu ni lau de usle karing karin ve dan soan Ani le ven him na chung chang a hianin ko shan le pol sang sang ina ati ba ka hian he ai hianin ma han la le se tia du khop lo na ang chi te mo e soi du enge nia ko shan le khutlang hianin chan hem ngai takin awareness te an nei cha ang renga e ma so na tur mm chu ka shilo ma se zirna ina hian tlem chan du ai chuanin kan soi ri tlem de wem o katia e Pol tu anin teh patop tu han suah masa mesing duduk tanda in kata ni bangian zirna in teh teh jangan bulcan dia cak kati. Soan tober nata nang makha iming tele tu na ingai zirmek di teh han sayla. Kami hilal peksang amaran dia soan M A political science kat zirmek ni. Cadeu ini lam doan ni oh. Kalau me. Tok mai. Nanunga kan muang hianin tu na. Emz itu virtu, atau na imbuat saya na hey, anu ngahian zulai nagami sau zulai tens install tu lah an boy pui meg ahein lau samup mup maya, engang takin ngah install hi an suang tiha i share tak om tau kop maya, ni zaman lama te kan share agin kipui te ponin anu esak nin kan han share pui kop maya, amai rotu hey an han salia, wey ni acon an zau tura kan ngaya. Stol, sangkung tak tun virti polianin andin teh ni kan base ni. Ah, ah, anu ngakan muang ni anin Department of Sociology ten, hey, engkau mungkin lau suara, anhan komlo kan ya, ah, langwal ni. Soan, ini tiada ni lawak di nama. Oh oh, soan sociology department ni mo. Oh, ani le kumdang aten lawat itu aje nama ni. Ah, titi ada kumdang soan. Tunggu kopi kan. Oh, ani le tang vali ni boka i HIV cung cang mo. Ah, tema song kan zat cenga. Mi HIV vei lawat om tas se. Engin ngai puyang. Ah, ati yang angin he an tan ko mangga an 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 Harus ada ada silsilah turun kau mang. Kau nak selain ni dok dok don tina ni mau? Awak ni berbai. Lom lu tu ke? Ali ke pade? Cuan tunggu Ming. Ini ni cara sosiologi. Sosiologi. Cuan hei lau boy pui dok cari cari tina ni mau? Hei, ada boy top pun. Boy pui kau vek top oh. Ibu boy om beri cuan. Sosiologi top ni wangan kan boy pui vek top ada boy pun. Mundang ain lekabu hit lom dewem. Ah lom dek tiada ain ang dek vek ang. Ingin shal venual tu em? Bukan tu first day ni kan lah shal M M lau shal masa dah tu kan shal teh kan ring kan zo nangai tau in mi tu na ingin harus na lau na ita se H I V wangin mo lau wei ita se inti lum tepon lau tu mai teh ingin ingin puyang le ah teh tuan anjil rum mo lau na na anta na um kah shagat dia tuan inti na aten zo mo musit zo ngah um lau in shat takin Tiap bila pangai kau mungkin kau mungkin tak ada tuan anjil ru walau nanti advice pihak orang kau cakap tadi. Kau mahu kau mai nang poh HIV dah nak kau ngah ini 
malam lau panjel lah, teh top lau cuang cie. Oh leh kan lau me. Auditorium kota hian Tata Motors lampang teh anlain hong vele ah. Wenya hianin hey virtual tan sim sim hianin engzan ye he taron cuit cie. Patum tim kat ang hian kanon cuit amo. Ni kat teh cangan ing ateng ang hian tim kat ang top ing kanon cuit on. Kum dang ate engin lau in hong cuak to cie nem. Oh MZ itu tak kisuh hey kan tan ni lewe to ah. Amapun akato kang hian karon ing powder orang. Ani le, tihian ini engtin ngin kalpui dan booking titurin ngi in tia engtin ngin kalpui. Ni lem cong lawe he itu na inung kami motor he dark edition nita manilo ka release kan nita kami exposure on set pi. Lama booking tihian lawe hal he he tihian he lawe tampo kan tihian brochure tekan hantira loan system an shadow te tihian kan silve ka tihian test drive an dulu an ina kan pan maya tihian keng kan offer kan petin. Ani le he mi pui hian in engi ronzo tok tihian om petin em. Um, saya cakap, saya profesor biarlah mata student so pohian, anu ni, anu ni, tu kira mata pohian mo. Ani le M Z U student stand biarkan, ingat moni special discount nang cerita ini kalpu em. Tu nak tak hijauan, offer orang hijau lakal lawa student discount nang hijau lakal teh lu tu keluar. Masa an zirtu tu tetan hian, corporate discount kan kita zirtu tu tetan hian discount om tu. Apa cawe tu tu taro, an lut le yang ti ring poti lah. Tiap pakar kita zat lelak saya ngah hey, i HIV i ilau sian ngah. Nanti tu sum dong mite ilau ni tane. Sum dong nanti sum sang ngah hei nintam tak cua nih ah hey ah engen yang i ingai ingai zon nanti tiap tua pon nam dang te lau ngai zon te kan sian ngah heng tiang in sum dong ton na pon hei nih heng ngah hei engen mizau te hei nih i kan film kurna dek tur ni asyad nam dang nupi pasal nih sum sang ngah hei nih mo heng ngah hei engen tiang kan lain event heng tu nai cazok in mah kan lak heng. Nam dang kur nupui pasal ni dia, bila film kur tu, aku cakap kat dia, aku cakap, hey, soi teh, lu tu kau om, lu tu kau ni. Oh, ni dua mil kau cakap, soi teh, aku cakap om lu masa tiul cakap, pakai kata kei ma kalau cakap, macam macam cakap, nupui pasal ni ni don ni cakap, don lah cakap kau ni, eh, cincin ni don lah, intensi cakap kat dia, kei pon nupui, kan ni don teh ni don ti cakap tum tau, intensi cakap cakap om lu, intensi cian weh weh ha, yang ni ngam nak om teh lom tera, oh leh kan lom eh, kau boleh hehe. Tang wal panin lau cua, hemi virtu hi an mudan tepok kan han zat wenga, aming min han sil sela. Oh, kaming zual biak zual ane ya, zual te ya. Minti, zual ngaca yang pay purba, ane ni hi Department of Biotech PhD tilai mek ane. Zual nang research. Kay oh PhD tilai Public Administration Department ah. Ani zual ani le, kaming virtu hi enge mi puide yang kan lo puido nem. Lo lo pui ngai ka bai sai kum dang ai zong ini set up po fo i park bula event main event om chao dona zan tin om don boga hi no pang student so tan phe zon exposure cha do ni in nam noi na sang an shian ni ngat phe zon lok na tam takan nei phain ka ring bok ani da chu ani le i hei stol sang sang te hi mi pui te hi an in tia in lo thir da na chang hian an nge an tilun ve ni nin siyem tilun ve suan kasi ako mi ahipa ay jumda ng ane ng ay lo ni wang sim sim po yun ay ngay try out le check out sa kumvek ane ay hisu umfo sa chain kaling ane le hey HIV tung sa ay yan kan zot ve siya nga ay tam taka hey invent na tay kan kalpui na siyem ay ma di invent na kan kalpui rawal yun ay ngay Adar zel mesti ya, hengi ilau vei vei kan dengan ni. Entin ni makan lak ang cian hawa mo mo pol ang teh entin ni hei ayen azir lay teh mo azir lay lau teh pon mo entin ni kan han top vei ang. Hei tu ni ya, hei tu nasi tu ngai tua tamfe ni ngai sya azau buka entin ni HIV dau nak kong ah malak dan tur. Rilu azun tam takong masa tu nazaun kar karilu ron lang masa asa kasoi menga. I awareness si acha via wa masa he ay nasale zuala awareness kan nih he apoy mo ing kasya so to school level a primary middle high school higher tengin i an mani don son thay dan tour milzel ka na awareness si petay la zun kotlang apo he ay nasale zualin may tayla zir na inti na kan nih ni zuan tu na a result kan mu ngalo po ni may thay mo so kina hun relo taya ngay acha na lai Awareness kan ni ina lok na ane izia ka kan lom mutsuok tuin kering. Oleh oleh kan lom le mai ah. Oleh kepole. Kabula hands out hand mo ya puzawa.
एम जे टी उलम कलचर से क्रचे सोई तु अम हेवैनी विरथि एम जे टी उतन चाहिए सोमी पली मनमे का हेन इन वही पेंटिंग हे अन लौजे मल मल मै हेन इन बोत से इधान चुन चांग खाते मजो मिल लौसई सकला तेरो पेंटिंग एंड स्कचिंग तीन तुना तीम की चुचु कमती नगन ती दान तला पु अच्छु थू पु भी खी अहम थ्रीन ता पेंटिंग स्कचिंग हेन कम हिन् पेंटिंग हिन् उमें पोजिटिव नु कं थो पु वहाँ उम पोजिटिव नु खा थू पुन था चुचु अंडरस्टेंडिंग थ्रू पेंटिंग हम तीन ता चुचु लम से अकल तंगा ऐसा थीम तीखा ता चुचु अन्मा हेन इन अंत था निन अन सूंग तो ना रिल रोम खा अन जी अच्छा दोन ता चुन स्कचिंग वेथु ओपेन गंत मैं अंत दु अंत लम लम हई जोंग खा अन थाई थी थूं अने अनेर कम दंग तेगे तो इन कम हेन अन तमे अन थे जो ओ पेंटिंग एंड स्कचिंग तक हिचु अन थ्रा गि कम दंग तो चुन जो का छू हई अहर दुनी तेम कंसा पेंटिंग एंड स्कचिंग चो मेरी जो जी थे लो फोर जो थी थे लो तेम चुचु चु ती अंगाई तु अचुन एम एम से तु छु हती चत अनोम छह अन तेम कं थी लोनी तेम अनिल पार्टीसपेंट सब हि मे एम से तीव जिलाई तेम का अपोन लम पंग तेन ओम एम ओ हि कं विरथी आई तेम साहिन थ्रेन खा चु ओपेन कं ती थ्रेन खा चु एम से तीव फ्रेटरी एम से तीव छु भी अमे तो हि अनीता थे हिचु ओपेन कं ती कूम हेन चुचु पोन नम पोर तेल थे अमारोजु तेल चुन अम थो अमारोजु तला पुन एम से तीव जीर लाई ते चु नि तेल हि कं से लेदू पोन लम ती खन इंगे कॉलेज जीर लाई तेखे हे निपियां तान अतु तान तिया इन ओपेन अदु पियां तान हन तो ओपेन ती खा चुन ซอกอ่ะอืมชาตะกันเสียชวกไทยตัวรางายังอ๋อกันล้อมนะตัวแกนะเก็บมีปกันล้อมตัวแกอ่ากบุลาเฮียนี่ให้ทิลอะลอเ
akai to te kan stigmatize lo na society ina i misang anga kan in lo te na akai te accepta i kan society chu nga anla ling ve ni ti lantir na type ang zongin ka kal apoy mo le mai chu chu ani le hei voi ni easy ak zaw don to em itil zaw zaw to ani le lo man te i dong pha tura in bai seng o ni chuan yeah, I was a basic work to until I'm not to come. I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to cut my hair. 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 Tang wal fel tak in hai lau ti le me ka. I'm going to cut my hair. 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 Oh, I'm going to cut my hair. 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 Ijoan, i kumda ngate lau tel to chenem painting big shim shim ahen. Voi ni tum tu kotel to mase college ang le ngay kan no pan lai ang tau han me. Le oh le ve to college ang ajoan. Ani le hei voi in team i bechan hian in til zo che kan dua hei HIV kan rama te abik te kin chalai te zing aluar na se me ma i ngay aluar na chan de uni ai shiat. Kan lifestyle sim sim hiya diktok lau nge kotlang lampang ti idan kan Zir na salutuk ti iwang te inge at san bulber ni ay siya ng mga idan yun o O hiya hiyan in awareness lampang hi Dinasay la chon in inge sex vela te Nupuy pasal kan ni ma chon in fili mi la Chuchu ni may kima chon Poy mo le may chuchu Lo man la pangay ito rin dosang na kan lana siya o Kabula hen MZU virtli sa nila som ni pali painting and sketching organizing committee te hei an lau chul cham maya an ming te an soy sela chang ya tin tunan zir lai mek te mo. Kaming chuzo tan zwa li niya Department of History final semester. Okay, hi elam mo chan akan niya to hai mass communication final semester. Okay, hi merari van lal ve na kan niya chuan tu na hiyan Department of Geography final semester kan niya. Ani le tel thay tour ka hemi em zetiu zir lai ba ka pon lam pang mi te ka inge in open em. Oh, hemi hi open niya. Anong kal thaw di na? Oh, kal thaw. At su su ni ta ani le i tu na hen sketching a hen inge team san pa te om em. E, painting le sketching hi a san amo sketching a hanin team om lo ma se. Painting a hen i understanding it's true art dro. Oh, kami ka team. Inge cumi tim mangsuanin inge anzia dia inhan kal kual vel cina anzia to cina te an chatai do nem. Oh hey an bon lom kop me kan hu to cina cun. Judgement siam har vel do nti nani mo. Har matang. Kan lom lu te kau oh. Kabula hen hey zero life vel tak me in sketching alau tim me kakan hanti boy longa if ming te tin tu nai zero me te kami lau sila. Kami ni juga banyak juga lah kan ya juga nak hian English final year kan ya English and Culture Studies. Anjat juga hian. Ani le sketching hi itu tercang alau tu ikan ni ni ya tu natan big sim sim hian kan tiwa roy tengi ti. Ah sketching hi tu hi tu tu lah jom kal tiwak ngai lah juga kan masa hi hasil kal sel lah kan cian cian ni hau kal join hi kan ti hau cian lah. Tu tu jangan jadi cerdik hi kan ni be ya kalau habi me me. Ani tu. Soan hi way ni ya inge in tiwa le. In lau sil fialok. Ah, ni dah hen ang lau Chinese dragon lampang bel hi kerja kerja hi tiang hi nak hi kerja tu apa mo di leh tuong kum hi tu tahun tu tu tahun tu tu pol hi year of the dragon ni na hi tiang hi idea kerja ni ta. Ani tu, ani leh tuun virt hi man tu ngah hen sketching lau ah til dang tel na turi na yam. Hei, cek ini macam cek kacang nak jual cek. Ani cek lo malang ni turun dosa nak kacang cek oh. Eh kalau macam ni. Kabula hiyan in hei MZU virtli saan hile som ni palipualin po ito hile essay writing competition lama organizing lampang te an lao oma hiyan lao diuti me ka aming tamin silsela tin MZU hiyan in hiyan zilay shuay tuwa ni natipo hamin silsela.
Coming to Rone Puini, ah, um, MZU, Virtli, Poetry, Le, Essay, English, Ahianin, Organizing Akoma, Tuan, Tihan, and Low Ving, Megani. An eleven year Hianin, exact in your own participants. Poetry, Ahianin, some Tumpakat, Velen Nia, Bor Velen Nia, Tuanin, um, do not a second team make a hand, me some lay, but who mean and run in Zaglut to anti make any. An elecum dang ten eight to in Kumina hen and tamnet tam lauzo. Cum dang nena take in Suanin, Tuncumahan and Chanem Zokia Langering. Suanin hey, a two pui shang shang te in Siam in Gansia, County and the Poham in Hansi lateral. O can two pui siam te he can zero like a nina ang le. Can Ramtana look to do Ankak and Don Sopswaka to me, but Tumzing at one day can move Yang Hania. HIV he and money HIV Lampang Han in Anran Anran Tuka, so an apathy Nale, a patum the he came anina, organizing Lampangina can Siamani. So an he team Amiki can say well, look on a inge inge dan in HIV he a lua na sa e me me kan rama mo a big takin chalai te po a lua lo na tur hen eng tin nge ma kan lak ve ang nang ma ngai dan in ingai poi mo ni chu mo um a poi mo be ra chuan in chuang kwa tang hian kan in shil shat thi a poi mo in ka sia nu le pa te hian in tun ai na sa hian in kan soi tam hi ngai in ka sia chan chu i ko shana te khotla nga te le advertisement chang chang han kan chua china he hi du ang le kan tum ang le kan du ai hianin um lok lo em em tara hi a chua chavak lo hian ka sia ge ma mu da na chuan chu wang chuan chung kwa tran kan in zir ti ranga ya chu wang chuan in ke ni mz ti wa zir lai te nu pui pasal ani tur te po hianin kan fa te kan nei khuna te le kan nu pui pasal in zon da na po hianin kan fim khuranga ya ke ma ni po awareness te kan in pek ta mangai ka ti a poi mo le mai chu chu chuan i lok thak ta kin Virtually, he can mount to Ranga and Oak and Lom Lutuke. Can Pole, Lome? Campola Hen Hazilai felt at my oma, a ming te, tin to Nangas your make, it a min shil cellar. Oh, coming to Angela Valem, hi, Parinia, so on to Nahan MSC Clinical Psychology, Kazir, Megani. Anile, poaching essays, ya, Wina. Wina Hen essay, Kazia, Kazo. Uh, HIV early treatment, early diagnosis and early treatment. Tiana. Ani le itu puyi zia enge atang kanin hey HIV ida una chungchang a hian ma enge pol te pon mo an la na sa e me magan rama hey chatok kini shame tun din muna hian. Oh, a chatok tuan kasha tuan centers shang shang te hey shalom te le centers Mizoram chunga aizo centers shang shang te pon mana sa takinan la mase i hey hi tun kan status ngay to tuan adukop umlo ka ti ema ma chu chu chuta ngi po tuan in health care systems tuan chak tung chang te tuan stigmatization kan ti thin shik na kan ti te heng tang te hi kan ti bona sat a chu le in ka sha hemi kan noi bo nan chuan poi mo le me chu chu ani le zil lai ini na angin engi zil lai te ta na i fui ve du hemi da una ko nga hian in mo kan ma kan mahun ngai to chunga e kan ke pen te kan ting hil chat apoi mo leng ka sha chan chu e mizoram he kan ta ka chalai te na kan syam chat tur ani a chu wan chan in ke ni chalai te hian in e kong tam taka e he e noi bo nan le he hiv e ti re nan hian in kong tam taka ti tur poi mo tak kan nei ning ka sha poi mo le mai chan Tuan Huna, ingkom na Hun Chamin Pia, lo man lang eh, tuan do sang na kan lanbok siya. Kalo me. Lo, lo ziak zao leh ta, aming ta minhan sil se, tin tu na inge azir me. Steven, ram tan mo ya, kan ye, second sem English, kan zir me, kan ito azo. Esa inge po ito ilama, po in niya, i-participants. Apa ni yang kat telve, ve ya, i writing hi kat tuive, shim shim ma, tu mi bang deo tu di. Prepare pay tu ka prepare chai me, tu wang lawa. Ani leh, hemi emza tiu virtli, Pia lah mahian kompetisi anda ngah tayar hotel tu aje nem. College angah hianin oh hotel sang pula ni dia umai inter college di bel angah tay le kan lu na lui angah tay hian. Ani le win bi ka kan enge ti mai chan le. Win ajuan poetry ya ajuanin eh ha kan ti ka esai ya ajuan tu na ajuan technology in education ti ani ya. 
อาเจยเวเทยเดวาทูมีจุกะทันฮานิเมตาอะมะซะโซกะอะคะโซนินฟรอมมีจุยูตีเนปอยมลัมปาฮานเฮมานีอิโรโฮมาอิงเออะเช
adoi zeb laba trang lawin midang ta na sahim na tura ni juanin ke mani po ni ange ke mani part kan lo play ve hee poi mo kati kan lo mle tuke เปิดเล่มเล่มตัวแกเปิดเล่มเล่มเปิดเล่มเล่มเปิดเล่มเล่มเปิดเล่มเปิดเล่มเปิดเล่มเปิดเล่มเปิดเล่มเปิดเล่
Once again, you are currently watching Mizoram University Virtually Debate Competition. And I'm Kemal Somtuagi, the moderator for this session. Um, the, today's, um, this session debate will focus on the following motion, as we can see on the ground, uh, on the screen, I'm sorry. Israel's military responses to Hamas uh, aggression are disproportionate. And before we begin, I would like to appreciate our judge uh, and acknowledge our judges again. Thank you so much for showing up, and I hope we can make a, a good evaluation for the, today for this session debate. And now let's meet our debaters. I hope they are ready. Mm. Sitting on my left uh, will be the movers who will be um, going and talking in favor of the motion. Please, uh, let's give a round of applause for the movers. And on my left, representing the opposers, please uh, come to the stage. And as a reminder, we'll be following an Oxford-style format with two teams, movers and opposers, as we all know before. And um, the competition consists of two rounds. The first round, uh, we'll have uh, the participants will have three minutes to present their case, and the second round will uh, be the cross examination or rebuttal, as we say, will be two uh, will be two minutes. And to help everyone uh, on track, there will be a warning bell that will sound 30 seconds before your allotted time expires. So please utilize the full time, but be respectful to the di to the time limit. And I would like to uh, make a disclaimer that this whole uh, discussion and this whole com uh, debate is merely uh, for the education and competition purpose. It doesn't intend to steer any uh, communal hate. Without further ado, let's move on to our debate. To turn, um, to give an opening statement for our debate, I would like to call uh, to call out Zacharias Fanchun, uh, mover number one. Let's give him a round of applause. Time start. Oh, well, good afternoon, respected jury, teachers, my dear student mates, and most importantly, Madam Moderator, thank you for this m m skillful moderating. Uh, let, uh, since I'm mover, I'll start with the, 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 this proportion as shown by the Israelis military operation to the Hamas. Uh, we can just simply say that this is a case of slap and slap and taking back a punch, uh, as stated by by one of our friends backstage. So let's go down historically. Firstly, when Israel is created, the Palestinians were were already there in the 1948. In 1948, and when Israel was created in 1948. They just knocked out 750,000 Palestinians from, from their homeland, making them refugees. So that's how Israeli comes into play in their relationship with the Hamas. Then we go down up to the 90s, where we have the first Intifada and the Intifada Wars, which was initiated by Isra Israeli, Israeli truck that hit a uh, walker's car, resulting in four Palestinian dead. And around that time, two, two group Hamas and Islamic Jihad com comes into existence. So it, it occurs due, due, to the, due, to the, due to the result of Israeli abuse in the Palestinian demonstrator uh, who, who have included curfew, mass arrest, deportation, and use of lethal force. And the second Intifada war, which was initi in initially started in 2000, was caused due to Ariel Sharon, a, an Israeli politician who, who, who visited the Temple Mount in J Jerusalem. So, Warning. Okay, thank you. And in, in response to that, I'd like to conclude that these attacks are 
really close by an outsider came came that comes to their to their land and knocking them out and making themselves at home so thank you okay ashishti uh, the stage is yours time start uh, good afternoon to the respected moderator so <clears throat> first of all he said that uh, Palestine. Palestine was the land of uh, Muslims or Palestine. But if we go back before Christ and the one, 1047 BC, it is known as the Kingdom of Israel, where Jews lived there and it was uh, ruled by the King Solomon. So it, it, we know that this was an Israel kingdom. So later on, and we can see that in the Israel kingdom there, Palestine was also there and Muslims also stayed there. And second, he said about the first intifada. That first intifada was that uh, when the uh, mili uh, Israel truck, uh, Israel military truck came and they killed uh, some of the uh, refugee from their camp. So that way that conflict began. But I would like to, uh, I would like to say the, the injustice done to Jews uh, from many back days uh, because uh, the <coughs> uh, first of all, Jews, uh, Palestine was a Jew's kingdom and uh, they constru it was, okay, then they constructed Temple Mount at the year of 586 BC by Baby Lonian and came and demolished the first temple. So second Persian came and they created the temple again and Roman Empire demolished the second temple again. So that way Jews immigrated to Europe because Europe was very close to Jews. And in one of the Jews family, Jesus Christ was born and Jesus grew uh, in the, under the Roman Empire. And then he himself teach his own, uh, own teaching like Gautam Buddha did uh, he was uh, originally as Jews, but he created Christianity. So many later on, Jews did Jews extremist party. They doesn't like Jesus Christ teaching, so they crucified with the big member of Jews. And then mm, be, f for that, it is it, Jews was hated by all the world. All the world hated Jews, especially Hitler. Hitler uh, genocide Jews in a big number. They were. Uh, treated very poorly, even even in where they went where to Europe. Mean? Also, they were treated very badly. So, uh, uh, okay. Time start. The, uh, thank you. The opposer, uh, the opposer said about the Israeli kingdom that last about from yeah, did she, oh, King Solomon's kingdom but according to biblical history if we look at the Israelites come to that land from Egypt they have to cross uh, to cross the desert to go there before they establish that kingdom and whom did they take it from that's what I want to ask and she was talking about Christ and around Christ after Christ, in around AD 74, General Titus attacked Jerusalem, and that led to the dispersion of Jews throughout the land, especially in the Europe. That's why, after the war, they were settled there due to, due to an argumentative state, statement, such as Jews are like parasites to the European during that time. They go to other land, they are nomadic tribes, so they 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 make they make the land rot they say it, as they say it during that time so if we took it from that perspective doesn't it mean the jews only ever took what belongs to other and for, forcibly make it for themselves warning and also she, she, she said about the abuse of Israelis. This is by Al Jazeera latest. 
33,237 Palestinian dead and 1,139 Israelis dead. If we look at that number, it differentiate and, and, and differentiate it. We can see that the difference is very Time's huge. Up. Thank you. Time start. So, the, as he said, that Jews came from Egypt. But if Jews came from Egypt, the main uh, importance is the Jerusalem, where Jerusalem is the main reason, uh, main reason of conflict for three religions, that is Christianity, Jews, and Muslims. So, um, why Jerusalem is that important for this? Because uh, in area of Jerusalem, where Jews had their second temple, Temple of Dome, which is constructed, which is constructed at the same place where Al-Aqsa Muslim Mosque is constructed. So that is the, that is the main reason between conflict of uh, Jews and Palestine. But uh, if we say that Jews, they were hated all over the, all over the world. So they migrated from uh, Palestine and they moved to Bri uh, most of the Europe country. But even in Europe countries also, Jews were not treated right. Uh, and it was mostly hated by the Christian community because, uh, it, because they believed that because of Jews, Jesus Christ was crucified. And the second thing is money lender, money lender is doesn't allow, that is not the teaching of Christianity. So those teachings were done by the Jews. That was the main hatred for the Jews from the many com communities. And then because of this, uh, there, was a, um, there was a war. Warning. Where, so Jews wants their land back. So according to them, uh, their land was, uh, Okay, um, mover number one, uh, Zacharias, and uh, move on, uh, opposer number one, Shishti, that was a good start. And I would like to give a little word of, word of encouragement to our participants. Let's all take a deep breath, you know, relax, mm. and then, uh, and, you know, let's showcase our excellent debating skills, okay? Mm. Okay, <clears throat> now mov moving on, we'll call the second mover, Lalpe Kluwalaizo to argue in favor of the mo uh, to, of our motion. Let's give him a round of applause. Time start. Thank you, Madam Moder Moderator, for kindly giving me this time. My name is Lalpe Kluwalaizo, and though inexperienced and uncalled in this debate, in this topic, I will be trying to make the valid arguments against. I I mean, pardon me for the motion. Israeli's military response against Hamas aggressions are disproportionate. And this statement is currently a global consensus because, first and foremost, the sheer number. You cannot say that one, cage, one, uh, one gun, the response of one gun attack is equal to that of 10, ten gun attacks. In case, which statement is uh, reinforced by the fact that the death tolls, if we look from the Isra in the Israeli sites upon their attack was in the 10,000s. Whereas the Hamas actions, their casualties have only led to around 6,000 to 2,000 in numbers, which already showcase how disproportionate the Israeli military response was. Ms. Mo Madam Moderator, I'm not trying to justify the Israelites or the Hamas for their actions, nor am I trying to say that their actions are noteworthy, but rather to say that on the face on this planet, human life, the death of human life is never justifiable, and henceforth, every life, as it matters, must be taken into account and as the Israeli military, with its IDF having vast intellectual resources, being unable to respond to Hamas, Hamas actions and incoherence to the statement from the guardians, making excuses by attacking the Hamas with such a large scale is no more than a, mil is no more than a, militant, a militant and aggressive response to what, is, what, can only be what can only be regarded as revolutionaries fighting for peace. And Madam Moderator, what I would like to also say is that peace has been kept in the world and many manners of revolutions have been made. One of the most famous that has happened in India is the nonviolence movement. 
peace have been fought, revolutions have been fought using the nonviolence movement, and the Hamas and the Israel, Israeli military have had many conversations which argues for treaty and peace between the Palestinians and the Israelites, which, in, which indicates that there is better solutions than just mass genocides on both sides, which indicates that their actions, as there is a better alternative, is disproportionate. The, Israel, the, Israel, the Israelis attack against the, the Hamas when it, comes, when it comes to the sheer number, as I've said before, is already a very, is already a very heavy argument on, on, our, on our motion, and I believe that even if the opposition is to use history or any other manners of human, humanitarianism, the argument still stands that their, the Israelites' actions is disproportionate, as the sheer numbers can never be invalidated. There are more deaths on the Israelis caused by the Israelites than there are deaths caused by the Hamas. Henceforth, their retaliation, though, Time's can, up. though I cannot say it's justifiable or reprehensible, is disproportionate. Thank you. Now, speaking against the motion, let us welcome P.C. Lal Thang Boya. Time start. Thank you, respected moderator. Firstly, under the international law of UN Charter, Chapter 7 of <clears throat> Article 51, respected moderator, it is stated that every nation has, <clears throat> every nation have the right to defend themselves from external aggression. So, what would the Israel do? Just stand and stare to the Hamas, respected moderator? Would they just stand to the one who clapped them? It is a must to defend themselves from the Hamas. It was the, respected moderator, it was the first who launched rockets against Israel on October 7, 2023. Secondly, the Hamas is a recognized group, is a terrorist organization recognized group by many countries, UK, USA, UN, and so on. And they're the one who attacked and harm the civilians of more than 1,200 on the <coughs> October 7. And respected moderator, I would like to state about the Union, Un United Nations reports of 2024 on the March, which, state, which have, have found that evidence of sexual abuse against the hostage of the Israel. It was a fact written by the United Nations. And more than 248 hostages were kept held in the Hamas isn't that not proportionate? They were the first to attack and harm the Israel. And secondly, the Israel was not just attacking rockets against the Hamas respected moderator. The Israel was having a strategy of, which is called roof knocking of deploying uh, non-explosive and <clears throat> yield device on the building to let them warning of that they are going to attack. So the Israel never at just attacked against them. But it was challenging from the Hamas. They were the ones who can't stand against harming their civilians. And thirdly, the, hum the New York Times 29th March of this 2024 has stated that Israel has provided a human humanitarian aid to the Hamas in the Gaza Strip through uh, crossing the northern Gaza, respected moderator. And I would like to state that <coughs> Israel security cabinet uh, on November 24th Oh, sorry, on November 22nd, he stated they allow 240 Palestinian press prisons, prisoners to exchange with their 110 hostages. Isn't that not proportionate? The Hamas, Boy. the Hamas, <coughs> and lastly, I would like to state about the Balfour Declaration of 1917, which states that a national home for the Jewish people is in the Palestine. And lastly, I would state it was the Hamas who attacked first, and the BBC states that on 15 November 2023, respected moderator with your allowance, the Jewish to Jewish Palestine was their ancestral home. Thank you. Time start. Thank you, Madam Moderator. First and foremost, he was talking about the countries that were recognizing the Hamas as terrorist organization. Uh, I would like to state that 44 countries do not recognize Hamas as a terrorist organization, and he mentioned the only four countries that recognize Hamas as a terrorist organization, which I might add, are not taking any actions towards the Hamas during this current time, and only the Israelis are responding to these militant attacks. While I would like to also point out, we are not, we are not here to justify the Israelis or the Hamas. We are not trying to justify actions, and on that note, I would like to say, 
The kindness of one man does not re reprimand him for his sins. Israelis' attack against the Hamas are disproportionate, without doubt, because the amount of casualties they cause, even though they issued warnings and other actions, as they have better alternatives, already showcases that Israeli has better actions that can be undertaken during the current crisis, during the current attacks. Those of higher military power must take a higher stand. This is only this action would only be proportionate if it was a battle of people of equal middle two organizations of equal military power, Madam Moderator. They are not two organizations of equal military power. One, the Israelis have more military power. If you look it up, you if you look it up, uh, let me just say that way because I cannot quote this in the current paper that I have this from. If you look it up, you will know that Israel has more than 100,000 militant forces, whereas the Hamas only has a measly 10,000 to 40,000. That already showcases how, the how Israel has more militant power, which showcases that Israel has better options, which dictates that their actions are disproportionate, Madam Moderator. And I would like to reiterate once again, the Israelis and the Hamas are not being justified on this stand today. They are being taken into account for their actions, and hence, henceforth, Israeli currently having better options to take against the Hamas are justifiable in the sense that their actions have be they have better Time's options. Up. And to make my conclusion, he was talking about rapes and deaths and hostages. This account on The Guardian, on many other news outlets, is seen on both sides, done by Israelis and Hamas. In that sense, which one is truly disproportionate, the killers or the victims? Time start. Respected moderator, uh, my fellow debater has said, there's a rapes by the Israels to the Hamas. Is there any uh, reports of rapes? Yes. Yes, which, uh, which state can, can, he, can he state it? And secondly, he said about the human lives as the human, uh, humanitarian law, who broke the, who broke the humanitarian law, respected moderator, wasn't it the Hamas? And secondly, <clears throat> who broke the treaties first of attacking Israel where they're having holidays? Who was them? It was the Hamas who was against the peace. And secondly, I want to say about his sayings of non-violence. It is not the age of a satyagraha. They were punching, they were slapping the Israel. So what, what would the Israel do again? Respected moderator, would they just let their, their other face be slapped again? No, it is a must to stand for their rights, their sovereignty and their dignity, respected moderator. And many countries support the Israel. Even the <coughs> Prime Minister of Modi has stated that we stand in solidar solidarity with Israel at this difficult hour on October 7th. Uh, on his Twitter, he has posted that, and India is standing again with the Israel, uh, not with the Hamas. I want to <coughs> highlight that again. And lastly, in, the, in breaking the laws of the humanitarian law, the Geneva Convention of 1949, the uh, Union Charter was broke first by the Hamas, and it was a must to stand for their protection and their uh, <coughs> popularity against uh, the Saudi Arabia, the Iran, and so and many, many countries from the Middle East. And uh, Hamas, he was highlighting about the Hamas military, the Iran was the one supported. And if we look, at, if we look to the countries of the, South, uh, of the Middle East, respected moderator, all of the uh, borders staying with, uh, inside of the Palestinian or the Israel are the one which are, who stands with the Hamas because they are the Muslims, they are the Arabs, and it is a must uh, to support the Hamas. And there are so many, uh, countries uh, who recognize uh, Hamas as an, lastly, as a terrorist organization. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lil and PC Lil Tang Moya, for your lively debate. And once again, I would like to make a reminder that this whole discussion is solely for entertainment and educational purpose only, and it doesn't at in, uh, attempt to steer any command hate. Any command hate. And moving on to the next round, we will. Um, now, welcome to the stage, Nick Lelrin Moya, speaking in favor of our motion. Time start. Hello. Uh, respected moderator, good afternoon. Today, I stand before you as a Mongoloid by birth. I am male. I speak Mizo. It is my mother's language. I'm 5'10". I'm 68 kg. 
I have never set foot on Gaza. I have never set foot on Israel. But I have one thing in common with the people that are suffering. I am a human. And from that standpoint, I would like to say that I have five points to make. The first point is the disproportionate use of power. We know that Israel is a, can, recognizes a state by a majority of the UN nations. And uh, here I have the data that is reported on March 31st, 2024. In Israel, there are 1,400 Israelis that are killed. But in, in Hamas, Palestinians, how many died? Can you guess? 32,000 Palestinians have died. It is disproportionate. And the second point that I would like to make is the impact on the civilians. Yes, Hamas is considered a terrorist group. They might deserve punishment according to some law, but civilians are being targeted as well. And here I have a little bit of news as well from March 26. Al-Shifa Hospital in Gaza City was raided, right? And we also have raiding of uh, schools by the Israeli militaries. Uh, the, the name of the school, Al-Fakhura, forgive my pronunciation, and another school in the northern Gaza has been raided by the Israeli militaries. So as you can see, civilians are suffering from this battle we can say. And the third point is the collective punishment. And like I said, children and women are suffering in Gaza. So here I have a news yet again from last week. Oxfam is a United Nations driven NGO. And according to them, Israel is providing humanitarian support. Yes, they are providing humanitarian support, but they are doing it reluctantly. So here, Israel is deliberately blocking aid to famine, Gaza. There is death from disease and starvation. So as you can see, the retaliation that Israel has against Gaza is very extreme. And it is leading to the death, the starvation of many innocent lives. Warning. Uh, yes. So I would like to say my last point. There is a need for a diplomatic solution. Israel being a more advanced state, being recognized as a state, they should come up with a more diplomatic solution instead of trying to eradicate all of Hamas and including Gaza as well. So there is many diplomatic solutions. One of the forefront of it is uh, the two-state solution. I would like to mention that. I'm sure, dear moderator, that the people who are interested will know about the two-state solution. Time's up. Yes, and with that, I conclude. Thank you. <clears throat> Okay, now let us call upon Cecil Tan Buya to speak against our motion. Time start. Good evening, everyone. Good evening to my respected uh, judge, to my respected moderator, and to my respected SC for giving me an opportunity to speak in here. Now, let's go on to the uh, debate. First of all, you are talking about uh, humanitarian, right? We all know the facts that you, you listen clearly, okay? You listen clearly. All of you listen. At first, we all know the fact that Hamas militant launched a surprise attack on southern Israel from Gaza. Who do first? Who did the damage first? And you are talking about a humanitarian. Who brought the humanitarian law first? I think you know the international humanitarian law. That was invented in 1847 in a Geneva Convention. The international humanitarian law suggests that, says that, uh, attacking, on, uh, civil, uh, attacking on civil people Undead army and surrender army is prohibited in under the international uh, humanitarian law. But who broke it first? Who? It's the Hamas. It's the Hamas who attacked the countless life of the innocent life of uh, the Israel people. Moreover, our topic is about the Hamas, uh, like responding Israel, responding to Hamas. We all know the Hamas intention. Hamas intention and aim is to destroy all the Israel. See, their intention is, <laughs> is far from a peace. How can you support that, huh? How can you support? Imagine yourself, your relative, your sister, your loved ones, partying in the uh, Novak uh, festival, but suddenly attacked, dragged by uh, Hamas terrorists. Some are raped. They have, they, they have been getting raped, robbed, killing. Just imagine your loved one, your sister, your mother, that have a tears caused by the Hamas. Will you say that that is a humanitarian, huh? And before you say that, before you say that, who are they then? In the ground of humanitarian, why you say that uh, Israel killed many, many, many people of the Palestine? 
First of all, Gaza, uh, Gaza Strip is a population located, it's about a 20 million densely populated. And before you say, before you agreement again, let me make this statement clear. On the conversation between the Israel ambassador, Mikhail Herzog, and with Fadel, they are saying that we are working with the UN citizens to create humanitarian groups and provide humanitarian solutions. We allow the citizens to go out. But what is the problem? You listen carefully. Huh? But Hamas prevented them more than once. We sent trucks to bring the citizen out, but Hamas used them as a human shield. See, Israel has given many, many warnings to uh, the Palestinians that they're going to be launched a rocket. But what? What's the problem? Why many Palestinians have been killed? Because uh, even this ambassador, this conversation stated that, proved the fact that they even sent a dozen of trucks to rescue many of the Palestinians. But Hamas prevented them. Hamas prevented them from getting out. Because you know why? Hamas used them as a human shield. See? That's why many, many lives have been lost. So it's, it's, their, so it's their problem. It's their up to them. So how can we say that? So it's at first of all, we all know that who attacked the first. It lands a dozen, thousands of rockets Thanks, into uh, East, uh, Israel's side. So for the conclusion, I will say that uh, Israel respond to uh, Hamas military aggression is not disproportionate. Thank you. Time start. Yes. Dear moderator, I would like to rebut not just the third, but the first, the second, and the third. So the first, uh, the first opposer said, blamed religion. Yes, it is true that religion is the cause of this issue, but we cannot pinpoint a, sing a single issue as the, r the cause of this problem. We know the difference in governance, in socioeconomic issue, in settlement issue, all the issues that Gaza and Israel has against each other. So we cannot pinpoint uh, religion alone, and I would like to rebut, that would rebut the first speaker. And the second and the third really stressed on humanitarian law, which I believe is on the side of Hamas, in my personal view. And uh, as I have said, I think they might not have listened clearly enough. I would like to restate again Oxfam, OXFM, which is, um, it is a British confederation focusing on global poverty. So according to Oxfam, but I want to say that this news that I'm about to say is very fresh. It is not even one day old. So you might not have read it yet. So Oxfam accuses Israel of deliberately blocking aid and famine. Uh, to famine Gaza, there is death and disease. That is what is against the humanitarian law that Israel is doing. And before you say time's up, I think I've made my point quite clear. So I would like to conclude. Thank you. Thank Time you start. for responding to me. Uh, dear respected uh, moderator and my judge, I want to tell you that what disease are you talking about? <laughs> We're not talking about any disease. At first, we all know that Hamas break into Israel territory, destroying their fence with all the paragridings, shooting blindly in that festival. That is what we are saying. But I don't know what are we saying about, but anyway, let me conclude this. Hamas' deadliest attack has been compared to 9-11, often called failure of imagination. For example, if... Uh, Israel know about the attack, uh, it, the topic may be different, but it's very unprepared things, very unexpected things. See, we can compare to as a 9-11 incident. No one can uh, believe that the planes could be used as a weapon. Similarly, the failure of imagination may be one of the Israelis so leaving it unprepared, struck. Like, how to say, it's kind of outside of the humanitarian group. Survivor of the Ham uh, Hamas surely or clear content, uh, contacted her sons to alert the army. But at first, the army, the army of the Israel also cannot, uh, defense, uh, cannot take out their move because of the unexpected attack. First, see, if someone breaks into your house first, you fight back them. That's what you call non-humanitarian. It's, it's the one, it's the Hamas, it's the Palestine that breaks into the Israel territory first. Then Israel got no choice to fight back. So how can we say that? So in the conclusion, I would like to say that Israel response to the Hamas military aggressions is not disproportionate. It's a very less thing as compared to what Hamas did to us. Thank you. Okay, thank you both for your insightful rebuttals and cross-examination. Again, moving on, we will now call upon Ahmed Hassan to speak in favor of the motion. Time start. Good afternoon, everyone. Respected moderator, 
uh, respected judges and my fellow debaters on the panel. Uh, my name is Ahmed Hassan and today I will be speaking in favor of the motion. Respected moderator, first of all, I would like to understand and consider that due to the time limit of three minutes, we cannot go into the thousand year old history of the persecution of Jews and the tales of the Palestinians, which is very relevant, which is very important to understand the psychology, the philosophy, and the politics of that place. It is also important to understand the geography of entire Palestinian land. Saying that, I would like to start my debate from the date 7th October 2023. On that date, Hamas attacked Israel. Plain truth, no doubt, 1,200 people were dead on spot. But what we are debating today is the disproportionality of the entire situation. As, as a response from Israel, we saw that Israel had two main goals when they had to counter Hamas's uh, attack. Their first goal was to destroy Hamas, right? The second goal that they had in mind was that they wanted to save the hostages, right? They wanted to save the hostages that were taken on that day. But what happened? The reality, the ground reality that we can see, so respected moderator, their first goal, which was to release the hostages, was clearly a failure. According to uh, a journalist, Zoran Kuzovach of Al Jazeera, he said that not only this aim has not been achieved, but Israel managed to kill three captives who tried to give themselves up. Now, killing captives who tried to give themselves up is against humanitarian laws. Thank you. Anyway, uh, the second argument that is the most important argument, I would say, that shows the numbers of the disproportionality of the response of Israel's military comes from their biggest failure, that is their military campaign, which is deliberate, which is disproportionate, and it is a brutal overreaction that killed thousands of people. Now, when we talk about disproportionality, we follow the principle of proportionality that comes under the international humanitarian law. During war, what we try to see is that when we are at war, whether the lives of civilian gives us more military advantage. But please, I would like everyone to be here, uh, respected moderator, tell me if the recent data that is from yesterday is 32,782 people. Time's up. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Now speaking against the motion, let us welcome Asmi Tassil. Let's give her a round of applause. Time start. I would like to present... Okay. Good afternoon, dear moderator and the audience present here. I would like to present a statement to the respected moderator. Anyone who has a knife, a weapon, or a car, and is not attacking a settler or, or a Jew, and is not killing tens of Zionists, does not belong to Palestine. Now, I want you to guess who is the speaker of this line. The speaker of this line is Fawzi Baroham, Hamas spokesperson. These kinds of Ashmita, yes. Excuse me. Uh, yes. Can you please uh, bring uh, your mic closer to your mouth? Yes. yes. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. These kinds of statements are have been publicly made by the government officials to the towards the people of Gaza to actively engage them in war. On the fateful day of 7th October 2023, Hamas had attacked on Israel with 5,000 missiles. 1,200 citizens have been killed and 250 people were taken as hostages, men, women and children. And respected moderator, Shani Luke, a German-Israeli tattoo artist, was parodied on the road half-naked along with other women. Now, do, don't you think this is brutal? Don't you think this is inhuman? Don't you think Israel's response was less brutal than this? Okay, respected moderator, according to the Palestinian Survey of Policy and Research, a poll done on December last year, 72% of Palestinian people, they 
supported Hamas attack on, uh, on southern Israel. So this completely shows the civilians are in for terrorism. Is this humanitarian? <laughs> Palestine has always been arrogant. They did not accept the two-state policy set up by the UN peacefully. But they always wanted one single state for themselves, uh, having Jews, Christians, and Muslims in them, which will be uh, ruled by Islamic laws. And later joined allies with the Arab, uh, Arab countries like Egypt, Syria, Jordan, Lebanon, and declared war on Israel, called the first Arab-Israeli war, and, and pretty much they lost. Now I know some of you will question, but Israel should try to be peaceful, well, right? Well, my friends, they did. After the entire uh, claiming the entire land, Israel still assigned lands in the Gaza Strip and the West Bank to those Palestinians uh, who were, by the way, made refugees by their own Arab allies. The Arab countries did not even give them citizenship. Yet they still declared civil war against the Israel military known as the First and Second Intifada War. This goes to prove that the civilians never tried to be peaceful in the first place because Time's of the up. influence of Hamas. Okay, uh, uh, ending my speech, Israel all had always taken extensive measures to take care of the civilians. They had issued warnings before air strike. strike. They used precision guided weapons and they had always used advanced technology to ensure surgical strike. Daniel Hagari, IDF spokesperson states, we are at war with Hamas, not at war with the civilians. Uh, Israel didn't start the war, it was dragged into it. Time start. Thank you. Uh, well, my friend on the other panel said 5,000 missiles were fired and the Iron Dome uh, could not you know, resist that, uh, which is very true. But here's also another thing that we must consider. Israel has Mossad. Mossad is one of the greatest intelligence agency the world has seen. And there have been news of Egypt knowing it, warning Israel. There have been news of the US knowing about it and uh, warning Israel, but Israel somehow decided to ignore all of that. Why? Well, some say to show off their weapons. So now here we are talking about humanitarian laws and on the other hand, we are using weapons to demonstrate the, the power that we hold. Uh, as the famous quote goes by, with great power comes great responsibility. Israel being such a great powerhouse in military and politics, it should have found a better way. There is always a better way. And on the other hand, my friend here tried to bring out some individual incidences and tried to equate that to 32,000 people being dead. Now, from 32,000 people, we know that almost 10 to 12,000 people were militants. Now, even with that proportion, we have around 20 to 22,000 civilians dying. That is not proportionate. If we are talking about proportionality, we talk numbers, we have to talk numbers. Among them, 13,000 were children. And on top of all of that, on top of all of that, just imagine yourself in Gaza. Just imagine yourself in Gaza where you are having to stand on such a war going environment and suddenly pamphlets fall from the sky. And what do you see on the pamphlet? You take the pamphlet, you see it. And you see that on the pamphlet it said that people who are from northern Gaza have to go towards the southern parts. 11 lakh people resided on the northern part of Gaza and they had to migrate to the southern part where the Rafah borders were closed and where they were attacked as well. Now where do people, people, humans, we are talking about humans. Oh, thank you. Where should they go? Thank you. Time start. Yes. Um, as uh, as mentioned by my uh, friend, he said that uh, they, uh, the number uh, of people killed, civilians killed, killed is disproportionate. But according to a statement made by uh, IDF spokesperson Richard Hedge, 
civilian deaths as a uh, as a tragic consequence of war and accused hamas of using them as human shields so what exactly what option did exactly israel have to uh, separate out hamas officials from uh, you know some civilians instead of instead of directly attacking them also uh, uh, even though they had a uh, they had a strong military and a strong uh, intelligence system the iron dome as as we all know it it uh, it uh, could only block some of the uh, some of the missiles and several of them passed through passed through the dome to destroy uh, uh, to to cause havoc to israel and uh, if if we have to talk about disproportionality over here hamas always wanted to create uh, large scale destruction on israel now just imagine all the missiles that had been blocked by iron dome if they were, if they had not mm -hmm. been blocked the uh, the the damage would have been as equal as that done in uh, uh, palace in gaza strip by israel thank you <coughs> thank you so much amer and asmita for your insightful debate we are currently discussing the topic our motion israel's military responses to hamas aggression are disproportionate and again, speaking in favor of the motion, let us all welcome Vikas to the stage. Time start. A very warm and good af uh, a very warm and very good afternoon to one and all present here, and res respected moderator. Uh, I would like to say that uh, I move that the motion that Israel military response to Hamas, aggression are disproportionate. They have bombed and killed thousands of lives of Palestinians and displayed two millions, more than two millions of them. Uh, the, and they use the Dahiya doctrine or Dahiya doctrine, that is a military strategy involving destruction of civilian in infrastructure in order to pressurize hostile regimes. And that I think, I think that is not good. They knowingly destroyed civilian uh, buildings, infrastructures, they know that the civilians will be killed, the innocent will be killed, but they do knowingly this thing. And a type of asymmetric warfare, this Dahiya doct uh, doctrine, it endorses employment of disproportionate force to secure the, their end. And Israel has violated 28 revolutions, resolutions of United Nations Security Council, bombing civilian settlements, deliberately killing civilians, blocking vehicles, bringing humanitarian aid to their region, trying to present all of these as uh, these skills can only be a reflex of an organization and not a state. And this will lead Israel to an organization. And they will, in future, if they do this thing, they will not call be a state. They will be called as an organization or as a terrorist organization. And they use this uh, Hannibal Directive. Uh, Israel responded by implementing the Hannibal Directive, a controversial order that allows soldiers to respond to capture of their comrade by unleashing fire firepower on persons, vehicles, building in the vicinity of the attack, despite the risk of civilians to the builders, uh, soldiers himself. The, um, this, this report is by Amnesty Report. And public statements by Israeli army commander, they themselves has, uh, they, they, they themselves minded that uh, they killed civilians, destroyed homes, property, were motiv motivated by a desire for revenge. And the soldiers, they should never be, uh, go for a revenge. For, for civilians, they teach a lesson. Uh, the population of Rafah, uh, attacks were serious violation of this international humanitarian law and graves Warning. grave the beaches of four Geneva con Convention and war crimes. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Vikas. Now let's welcome Lerim Ruat Tonsing to speak against the motion. Time start. <coughs> Thank you, Madam Moder Moderator. Uh, suddenly, all the Palestinians become heroes and uh, victims, and all the Israelites become uh, evils. 
with your permission, Madam Moderator, if there is any genocide, it is committed against Israel. Hamas attack justifies right to defend. Honorable, honorable judges, my fellow debaters, uh, Madam Moderator, and everyone present here, a very good afternoon to you all. I stand here to present my view against the motion. To begin with, I would like to say that uh, our motion itself is too kind, uh, stating the um, savage, vicious, brutal, and inhumane attack of militant Hamas is a mere aggression. We should understand what is an aggression and what is an attack. You may ask why military response is done by Israel. There, cannot, there can be no response without uh, any, a, a, a reason. So the reason is here. The Palestinian army group in, recent, in the most recent, the Palestinian army group Hamas launched an unprecedented invasion on 7th October, killing 1,200 people and capturing 250 soldiers and civilians. Thanks to the BBC News, we have seen evidences of rape, sexual violences, and uh, bodies of the hostages being dismembered. And in the bigger picture, if we look at the bigger picture, Madam uh, Moderator, uh, in 1988, two years after the creation of Hamas, they carried out their first attack and killed several uh, Israeli soldiers and kidnapped many of them. Then again in 1993, Hamas opposed to the Oslo Accord, which aimed at establishing peace and uh, tried to derail it with bus bombing and gas attacks in Israel. Stupid Hamas. In 2001, June, uh, Hamas carried out a series of uh, suicide bombing in Israel, uh, including killing uh, 21 Jewish in uh, Tel Aviv disco. Uh, what can justify them? I'm asking my uh, fellow uh, opposers. Then, with this knowledge, I am wondered how we can steal uh, talk about the uh, pain and suffering of uh, the, Ham the Hamas and the Palestinians. Aren't Israel suffering? I ask you all. So uh, we can and uh, we can say that Israel is just returning the favor that is asked by Hamas. Uh, many of my opposers talk about uh, the, uh, they are they're so in love with uh, numbers. So if you don't want thousand bullets, why fire uh, one bullet? Warning. Uh, okay, with your permission, Madam Moderator, I would like to quote the Bible. There is a time for peace and a time for war. And this is a time for war, war against injustice and terrorism, and time to stand for Israel. Thank you. Time start. Moderator, Madam, I want to uh, say that uh, my respected all oppositions members, that it is not a time to war, and uh, right to defend is a good, but not a right to kill, in a sense. And we have seen that uh, Israel always say that they have the wonderful secret agencies, they have Mossad. So why they don't send them uh, in the Palestine or to the Hamas area, and then secretly kill those, that those terrorists only? Why they are killing the innocents? And for this. Uh, for this, the, the war happening for Jerusalem, which is the holy place for both religions or three religions. So, as we have seen in India, that Chandigarh is capital for Haryana and Punjab both. So they can take this thing, uh, like this thing, they have many times have said these things like, you can take Jerusalem as a single capital for Palestine and Israel also. But they are not taking this thing. And I would like to underline that lasting peace and calm can come only to the region with the establishment of independent Palestine state whose legitimacy is based on UN re resolution with 1967 borders and geographical integrity with East Jerusalem as its capital and with its recognition by whole world. Uh, other way than this only means more destruction, more tears and loss of life. Thank, Thank you. you. Madam Moder nice. Moderator, with your permission, yes to war. We need war. For peace, injustice, and terrorism need to be wiped out of the surface of the earth. No matter what you said, Hamas still remains a terrorist group. And these terrorist groups are a pain in the butt of this world. <laughs> and I'd like to say, you are so, so much uh, into uh, uh, mighty, mightiness of the Israel. So, if you're a small red, why, why attack a lion? And, and this isn't just 
a case between Israel and Hamas. Actually, in reality, in the ground reality, this is a, uh, this is a, uh, an attack. This is a versus between Israel and the whole Islamic countries. They are like uh, mm, they are like uh, a, 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 a an agglomeration of forces trying to wipe out Israel. And what is the aim of uh, the Hamas? If we say what is the aim of Hamas, their aim is to violate international law by hiding among civilians and using civilians as a shield. And their purpose is to, uh, their purpose is to uh, wipe out Israel from the face of the earth. So, siding with Hamas and Palestinians will be siding with terrorism, which the war will never do. And I would like to say, uh, uh, that this is a high time we join hands with Israel and stop throwing stone at Israel to wipe out injustice and to wipe out terrorism. The world needs Israel and the world needs everyone. Thank you. <coughs> Hello. Uh, thank you so much, Vikas and Laram Ruat. Uh, and to our dear judges, I would like to apologize. I um, currently shift Laram Ruat don't sing the opposer from the last row to Laram Ruat Tika Silo. I'm so sorry that I didn't inform you earlier. And now moving on, I would like to call upon Lalun Pui Londo to speak in favor of the motion. Time start. Thank you, Madam Moderator. My name is Lalun Pui Londo, and I would like to affirm the motion that Israel's military responses to Hamas aggression is disproportionate. So firstly, let us delve on what proportionate means. The antonym of disproportionate. Vocabulary.com has defined proportionate as when the punishment fits the crime. So, Madam Moderator, I would like to ask, can a punishment which massacre so many innocent civilians, so many helpless children and women can be proportionate to the crime which is done by only a small group of people? Can an aggression which killed thousands be compared to the genocide which killed more than 30,000? An aggression cannot be amount to something that violates the genes, uh, sorry, the Geneva, the Geneva, um, sorry, the Geneva, uh, Israelites have also violated the international law by bombing many hospitals. Many patients and medical staff were indiscriminately murdered. By the latest reports, Madam Moderator, we have that over 400 Palestinians were killed in Israel's site of Gaza's Al Shifa hospitals. There were footages of children volunteering in a hospital, Madam Moderator, a mere child. Is it a normal thing that an, a mere child is volunteering in a hospital? They have fallen to such disparity that they lack proper medical health care. There is a collapse of health care, lacking medical staffs, lacking medicine. Our fellow humans, our fellow human beings, those patients are amputated without anesthetic. Madam Moderator, Anastasia, sorry. Uh, how dread and horror that is taking over our fellow human beings. Aside from the immense bombings taking place, as Israelis have stopped any business transactions taking place between Palestine and other nationals, and Israel blocking of aid, which create apocalypse as stated here in the evidence, Palestinians are forced to Already. feed themselves by the amount, the small amount of food that they have. Hunger in 2024 for the general population, Madam Moderator. What an awful situation. Oxfam America has reported that 250 Palestinians are killed every day on average. But the main perpetrators, the Hamas leaders, have fled to Qatar and many other places. So these innocent civilians Thanks have sir. died without a cause. Thus, with every ounce of humanity left in me, I do not dare to say that the Israel attack is proportionate. It is clearly disproportionate. Thank you, Madam Mother. Um, okay. I'm so sorry to make this announcement, but I would like uh, 
to tell the judge and our participants that there was a little arrangement again due to bailing at the last moment. So, uh, we have an even number of movers and opposers as of now. We have nine mover and seven opposers. So now I will not call upon our, our next opposer, but instead I will call Lalrim Ruata Sailaw, which was written as opposer, but uh, was a mover uh, to move again. And after that, Malsom Tuanga opposer will come and oppose Vladun Pui Londo and Lalruat Tika Silo points. And there will go the second round again. Do we get the points, uh, dear judges? I'm so sorry. Do we, do we get the points? Um, since there was an uneven number of like opposers and movers, Opposer, the Kanpanin. Oh, mover, the Aninde, the Ovan, the Kanakaldon. And the opposers have to be strong. And I. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. So I would like to inform Lanun, Lil Radika Silo, that he, you will oppose next. And Aditya Jane will uh, move, I guess. I'm sorry. I had arrangement. Yes. 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 Pretty good. She went to the bathroom as of now. Opposer. She's an opposer. A mover. She's a mover. I'm sorry. I made a mistake. She's a moya. He's an opposer. And Pretty Guru is a mover. Mm. Yes, that's how it goes. They can't dictate We're so sorry. And now let us call Larwadi um, Kasilo to speak in favor of the motion. Time start. Thank you, respected moderator, for giving me this opportunity to present my argument. My name is Leroy Dikasilo, and I'm from the Department of Botany, and I'm here to speak for the motion that is, Israel's military responses to Hamas aggression is disproportionate. Respected moderator, I would like to point out a few reasons to support this motion. And my first point is the difference in military power. Israeli's government argues that it is an immoral fight for survival against the Hamas, but in all the years of Hamas rule in Gaza since 2007, the, the Hamas has never taken Israel's territory, much less even remotely threatened the existence and survival of the Israel. And, and the truth is, Hamas couldn't do it even if it wanted to. Hamas has around 30,000 fighters, while the Israel Defense Force or the IDF has around 600,000 reserve and active personnel. Hamas lacks an air force, armored vehicles, and a military industrial base compared to the IDF. Respect the moderator, this military ad advantage could be used to defend and protect the people of Hamas, not to attack the people of Gaza. Respected moderator, my fellow opposer said about, uh, mentioned the October 7, 2023, which brings me to my second point. October 7, Israel's, Israeli's government ignorance. October 7 does not mark the rising of a more deadly or upgraded Hamas, but rather the failure of Israeli's government. Israeli's leaders had ignored, had ignored extensive warning about an upcoming Hamas attack. In an interview with CBS, Margaret Vanstein, who is a part of a female unit of soldiers who surveilled the, Zava, uh, the Gaza border, said that they noticed unusual behaviors six months before the attack. The Israeli leaders ignored this, and now, respected moderator, they are punishing the people of Gaza for their own mistakes when the fault is at their own not to eliminate the Hamas. 
For my final point, I would like to say that the Hamas aggressions, uh, aggressions and the atrocities that they committed deserve to be condemned, and the imprisonment of the hostages is unjust. But do this justify Benjamin Netanyahu and his government for their disproportionate vengeance on the people of Gaza? With your uh, permission, re uh, respected moderator, I would like to quote Anthony Guterres, who is uh, the UN Secretary General. Gaza is becoming a graveyard for children. Hundreds of boys and girls are reportedly killed or injured every day. Ground operations by the IDF and continued bombardment are hitting civilians. Hospitals, refugee camps, mosques, church, and facilities, including shelters, no one is safe. Respected moderator, when no one is safe and the whole Gaza becomes a graveyard for children, there is indeed a disproportionate attack being launched. Thank you. Thank you. Now let us welcome to the stage Valel Malsom Tluanga to speak against the motion. Time start. Respected moderator and judges, I think I have the upper hand of, you know, getting two birds with one stone. So I'll continue my statement by saying that what is a Hamas? Hamas is an acronym for Harakat al Mukayama al Islami, which is an Islamic resistance movement. And this is their sole purpose. And with your permission, Madam Moderator, I would like to read out the Hamas Covenant, which was stated by Imam Hassan al Bunna. Israel will continue to exist, and Israel will exist and will continue to exist with Islam until Islam will obli uh, obliterate all Israelis, just as it obliterated others before. And that is uh, a translation, from, uh, translation made by the Yale University. So what I would like to s state is that uh, Israel's military response to Hamas is quite proportional. It is justifiable. Why? Because when attacking a terrorist group, there is no such thing as disproportionate. Because an, a terrorist group is always a terrorist group, which, as we have heard before, a pain in the ass. <laughs> and of course, Madam Chairman, Hamas fired over 7,000 missiles some even noted around 5,000 to 7,000 missiles at Israel. And they committed numerous heinous crimes, which is even to the point of using even their civilians as a shield. They hide in hospitals, they hide in children's daycare centers. And of course, they rape women and paraded them naked. And in order to retaliate that, the Israelites are even ethical enough to warn the citizens. So are we gonna judge the actions of a war? The, are we gonna judge uh, proportionality of a war with only the number of total Deaths. That is my question to my dear uh, po opponents, because let us look at World War I. Let us compare British and the Germany. In World War I, according to uh, uh, Mr. Pager, who is an American com uh, political commentator, he said that during World War, uh, World War II, sorry, World War II, uh, there were fewer civilians dead in Britain. There were more civilians dead in Nazi Germany. But do we justify the actions of the Nazi because they have more casualties? Of course not. That ended the war, and the Japanese find out too well in August 1945 that when you mess with the wrong person, you get your ass kicked. <laughs> and Madam Chairman, uh, the disproportionate argument is one argument Boy, made yeah. by the Hamas supporters that have resorted to after the court of public opinion have. Uh, did not buy or rejected their arguments that the Israelites started the war first. And that is a lie, of course, we all know that. And after they lost that argument, they resort to saying that it is disproportionate. However, I would like to say that, Madam, Chair, uh, Ma Madam Moderator, I am sorry, but when a terrorist attacked a country, you do not get to dictate the response. It may be mild, it may be a top-notch attack, but it is a risk you are willing to take when you are attacking another country. As I've said before, the Japanese Time's found up. out this when uh, they were facing the Americans in 1945. Thank you so much. Time start. Thank you, Madam Moderator. My fellow competitor, my fellow competitor from the Opposer side have said that they use civilians as a shield. And I would like to ask 
Madam Moderator, if the Israelites have provided him direct information that they use civilians as a shield, is, there, is this not a mere statement coming from the Israelites? Then Madam Moderator, he said that Hamas' reasons, sole reason for existence was to destroy the Israel's, but Madam Moderator, I would like to claim that uh, when the Palestine, when the Israelites forcefully occupied the Palestinians, the Palestinians did not merely say, "Come, come to our, come to our place and occupy the place." They, uh, they formed a, a group called Hamas so that they could reiterate it. When uh, the Mizo Rambuai also occurred. Did the Mizos did not have an independent fighter to fight for us? Then for the terrorist group, it has been stated multiple times that they did not recognize themselves as terrorists. Then if so, I would like to ask if Israel's if the Israelites do the same thing that the what my fellow competitor has said, a terrorist group. What does that differentiate themselves for? Are they not the same terrorists? Because they are doing the same thing that has been done to them, if not more. Then I would like to conclude by saying that we are not saying that the Israelites do not have the right to defense or the right to reiterate. We are saying that the number of killings, the number of people that have been done harm to are disproportionate. If we do not measure that by the amount, amount of people killing, should we, uh, should we measure that by the amount of people walking free, should the amount of people who are dying? Thank you, Madam Moderator. Time start. Thank you, respected moderator, for giving me this opportunity to speak again. Now, I would like to, uh, I would like to repeat what my opposer has said. Their attacks are proportionate and justified. With that, with your permission, I would like to uh, put out a chart uh, by the United Nations Office of the Humanitarian Affairs uh, the, of the death toll in Israel-Palestine conflict, which shows that the Hamas and other militants killed over a dozen civilians a year, compared to Israel killing over. 10 times more civilians. And respected moderator, that is before October 7, 2023. On that day, on October 7, 2023, 1,100 Israelis were killed compared to 20,000 Palestinian innocent lives that has been taken. And he said that should we, justif uh, should we justify, uh, based on the number of casualties, where should we, uh, where should we, 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 we be measuring it then? And I ask, respected moderator, that uh, if we were solely, uh, if we are not going to base it off, uh, on that, and then what are we basing it on off? Then, uh, respected moderator, uh, we are not uh, here to debate who shot first or who slept first. We are not here to debate who uh, who slept first and who going kasoti over there and who slept first and going kasoti over there. We are here to discuss the responses of the uh, Israel Israelis' action. And that the number of deaths is, is when the number of death is 10 times more than one party to another. There is a disproportion. Morning. Thank you. Time start. Uh, my uh, respected moderator, uh, my opponent asked me whether if that wiping out the Israelites is the sole purpose of the Hamas. Of course it is. I've just read the, the Hamas Covenant, which is translated by Yale University. And if that is not uh, enough evidence, uh, then I suggest you go and learn it herself. Because facts don't care about your feelings, guys. Facts don't care about your feelings. And of course, she's asking about human shield. She's asking about human shield. She asked me that whether if the uh, Israelites directly contacted me and saying Hamas are using uh, their civilians, as you mentioned. It's in the news, guys. Please read. Please read. Wow. Hamas are hiding within the city of Gaza Strip. And that is exactly what we call human shield. Even as I stated before, uh, and of course, uh, they've asked me whether, if it's not about only uh, qualitative numbers of death, 
then what alternative do we have? The alternative of the ethical, which is put forward by Jeremy Bentham, which is called utilitarianism, the highest good for the highest number. Because we know the world would be a better place without terrorists. And of course, he said, uh, they are asking me that, uh, what countries, how, how, how can I claim that uh, the Hamas are terrorists? Because they have been deemed a terrorist by the United States, Canada, Great Britain, Japan, even the New Zealand and the Netherlands. So I think it's quite clear. We don't need the Where UN mean? to declare, uh, we don't need the UN, or we don't need someone to declare who is a terrorist because it is quite obvious that a jihadist uh, is someone whose political idea is to install the Islamic faith using violence. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Larua Dika Sailaw, Ladun Pui Londo, and Vanal Malsom Tuanga for your insightful debate. Again, I would like to make a reminder that this whole discussion is for educational and entertainment purpose only, so it doesn't intend to stir any communal hate. Now, we only have one round left. Here we have, uh, we again have two movers, Priti Guru and Aditya Jain, and one opposer, C. Zamoya. We get that clear, right, dear judges? Okay. Now, firstly, let us call upon Priti Gurung to speak in favor of the motion. A very good afternoon to the respected jury and my dear moderator. Uh, an eye for an eye makes the world blind was said by Gandhiji. But here, Israel has not only made uh, Hamas, I mean Palestine, blind, but also crippled to the core. So. This is very disproportionate, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, it is disproportionate in its core. If we remember uh, Newton's third law of motion, to every action there is an equal opposite reaction. Not talking about equal, Israel has defied all humanitarian laws and it, I think it has also defied science because it does not understand what equates to the amount of attack that had been suffered by the Israelites. So they have uh, triple, I mean, they have multiplied their attack 2,000 times. 2,000 times where uh, the casualties are 2,000 times larger, which have been earlier said. And I think that Israel has plotted this because they wanted, they wanted the cannon to be triggered. And then they could take this opportunity to trigger the cannonball straight to their enemy, Hamas and the Palestine. The, talking about disproportionate again, disproportionate because in the UN partition plan, Israel was born and 55% of the land was given to the Israelites. And only 45% of the land was given to the Palestinians. So here also, there has been, uh, there has, uh, the, the land has not been divided equally. So here, uh, if we take into consideration, for example, Mizoram, in the case of Mizoram, uh, if, uh, if the Myanmar, if the people, the refugees from Myanmar legally and illegally amass land one by one, and then they overpopulated Mizoram, what will the Mizos do? I think those who are opposing, those who are opposing our motion will be the ones fighting for their land, isn't it? Whether it is legal, uh, whether it is, uh, whether it is, uh, whether it is fair or not, they would pull all, pull all their might to fight for their land, isn't it? So likewise, the Why Palestinians you? also fight with all their might to draw out the uh, Israelites, because. The Jews have been, we all know from time immemorial, immemorial, the Jews have been discriminated, but the Palestinians did not. They were discriminated by the Germans, the British, and the French. So the Britishers, the Britishers, uh, since the Jews are the headache of everyone, so they dumped this, uh, they dumped, they,
that they, they deliberately dump their problems to the Palestinians so that Palestinians, since the Americans, the Britishers, and everyone were eyeing on the oil of the Palestinians, so they deliberately dump their problems so that all the two extremist groups could fight together against each other and well, while the, West, uh, the West, uh, Western, uh, Western country would only benefit from their fight, which is... Uh, they would get the oil from the Palestinians, while they would use uh, they would use Israelites as their chess piece, so that they would not be at blame, put to blame. So, uh, the, the so it is not the 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 fault of the uh, Palestinians to fight for their land because. It is the Israelites who entered their land at the first place. We should not forget that. And uh, and and uh, Israelites, uh, like I have already said, this war seems to be a well calibrated. Uh, uh, strategy made by the Israelites because Islama Mozamia, if you, if you, I think you would have heard of Islama Mozamia. Okay. Islama Mozamia uh, was the later Hamas, uh, which was funded by Israelites Time themselves. Job. Thank you. Okay, again, speaking um, in favor of the motion, let us welcome to the stage Aditya Jain. Time start. Um, hello everyone, my name is Aditya Jain, I'm from the Department of Planning and Architecture and today I will be speaking for the notion. Before I actually start my speech, I want to say and I want to thank all of my fellow participants. I have not known this much history before. Even I did my own research and I didn't find this much history, the history they found. The thing is, this debate is not about history. This debate is about the disproportionality. I would like to quote a statement. You don't need to be Muslim to care and pray for Gaza. You just need to be human. Now, I know a lot of you guys have a problem while talking about numbers. The thing is, disproportionality cannot be talked without numbers. It's a mathematical thing, right? So let's talk about numbers. As of 5 March 2024, over 31,000 people have been died in the Gaza, in the, uh, in the Israel-Hamas war, right? 30,228 Palestinians and 1,410 Israelis. Those are numbers. Let's talk about numbers even more, including 94 journalists in which 89 were Palestinians, two were Israeli, and three were Lebanese. Overall, 13,000 children of Gaza have died. 36 Israel, uh, by the way, let's talk about the damage that Palestine has caused to Israel, right? Over uh, 12,000 people have died, including 36 children in the uh, attack of 7th October. Now, let's see these numbers. Do they even match up? They're not even close to each other. Second thing, let's talk about history, right? Why we talked about Intifada wars and Palestinians never wanted peace. Why did they never wanted peace in the first place? These 7 lakh people were kicked out of their houses. They were kept in these compact refugee camps and constantly abused by the military of Israel as well as the government. You know why the first Intifada was started? The first Intifada first was started because a military truck killed four people of Palestine and no one even said a thing. These people went and approached the government. They refused to even listen to them. These refugees did not have citizens, citizenships or even their own country for that matter. Then how, uh, why wouldn't they fight for their rights? Why wouldn't they do this? By the way, the Intifada war was not done by any uh, terrorist association. It was done by civilians. People fought against the military and were still winning. That was the fact that they had to do the Oslo agreement, which Israel failed to accomplish. Secondly, I would like to state another Warning. thing. I would like to state, Hamas is a terrorist group. I completely understand it. I understand Hamas is a separate, uh, Hamas is a terrorist group. The thing is, Hamas is not Palestinians. Hamas is a terrorist group that's planning to attack people. Palestinians are normal people who are trying to live their lives. These 32,000 people, the 30,000 people that have died, these are someone's mothers, someone's brothers, and someone's small, small children. Please, please don't think that these are just numbers. These are people who lost their lives. Thank you. Okay, now speaking in um, against the motion, let us welcome to the stage Caesar Moya. Thank you, time moderator, start. for this time. Now, 
there has been lots of talk about the mathematical aspect of, pro pro of proportionality in when it comes to the dead counts. I first want to counter that by saying what even is proportionality or disproportionality in war. Now, he says that 1,200 1, Israelis are dead, and meantime, 32,000 32, Palestinians are killed. Now, that's disproportionate, that's the claim, but if 1 billion people were killed, and on the other side, another 1 billion were killed, that's proportionality, but that, that, does that make it right? The answer is no. In war, it's not about proportionality. That's the first thing I want to say. It's Israelis defending themselves against the attacks. And firstly, I want to firmly justify Israel's response on the ground that it was time and time again, as we mentioned before, Hamas that initiated the attack. It was on October 7, 2023, and it was unprovoked. And what most of us seems to miss is that Israel's response is due to the hostages 253 hostages taken by Hamas. And their aim is to take back these hostages, and therefore the objective of Israel is to be a peaceful, separate state and take back their hostages, nothing more. And secondly, Israel has the inherent right to defend itself. And we can say that when we look at Article 51 of the United Nations, it permits any of the UN to defend itself in response to any armed attack. Israel's military operations, the IDF, were responding to it. And I want to say, the hostages taken by Hamas were taken as leverage. If they really wanted to end the war, if they really think it's disproportionate, all they have to do is send all the hostages back, and Israel will stop its movement. And thirdly, yeah, we have also mentioned human shields. I would not be going into details into, uh, into that, but I want to add that they have been using these human shields to gain the attention They have these human shields to gain the attention of the world, to attract the world towards themselves and to get, to get their favor on the base of humanitarian ground. And now I have talked about the, uh, the aim of Israel. I will be talking about the aim of Hamas. In Hamas Covenant 1988, Charter Article 7, let me quote, the day of judgment will not come about until Muslims fight the Jews, like killing the Jews. When the Jew will hide behind stones and trees, the stones and trees will say, O oh Muslim, O oh Abdullah, there is a Jew behind me. Come and kill him. And the objective of Hamas is to eradicate all Jews from this planet. Time's and up. Israel has nothing, do, has nothing to do but defend from this. And it is justified in all means. Thank you. Time wow. start. I, um, uh, Mrs. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> moderator. Mrs. Moderator, I think my opponent kind of ignored my point. As I was saying, the Palestinians are not the Hamas people. It's a terrorist organization on its own. Whatever its actions are does not reflect the actions of Palestinian people, right? Secondly, let's state another fact. When, uh, when army fights army, it's a war. But when army fights people, normal civilians, it's a war crime. Nextly, you guys talked about the human shield, right? I want to add a few points. We all know that the food and electricity supply has been blocked to the Gaza Strip, to which a lot of people are dying. A lot of people with urgent hospital needs are dying. What about that? There's no human shield there. Then why are they dying? OK, forget it. There, there's Hamas group over there, right? They want to block their electric supply and food supply. I know your reasons. Let's talk about the 29th February of 2024. Does anyone know what happened on that day? There was a truck filled with AIDS that was coming to the Gaza Strip and was going to supply food and water to these poor innocent civilians, right? This truck approached. Now imagine these people have been hungry for days. They did not get food or water. As soon as they see this truck, they all run towards it to get food and water supply. Since it's not a line, it's a first come, first, uh, first serve service. They all run. There was uh, uh, Israel military standing right next to it. Military tanks were standing Warning. right next to this truck. 
what happened? The Israel military got scared of the crowd and open fired people. It was a massacre. Let me tell you, killed 100 Palestinians and 280 people were wounded in a place where there's no hospital supply, no electricity, and no food and no water. Where is your human shield now? Let's talk about, let's talk about one of the statements that was made by the survivor itself. They have not been fed for weeks, yet they said, it's fine if they don't send any trucks, but we don't want another mass care over hands. We don't up. want to see people killed. Thank you so much. Thank you, moderator. Time start. I think my opponent has misinterpreted what I meant as the human shield. I'm talking about the Palestinians. Yes, the Hamas are part of the Palestinians. They are using their citizens as human shields themselves. They facilitate hu their organizations and infra infrastructures around civilians so that they can gain the attraction of the world, as I have said it before. And, he's, and when he talk about war crime, committing war crime, famine, famine, and all those other things, I think we have made it pretty clear that the initiator was not Israel, and I think I can move on to another point. And he first mentioned that history is not important, it's about what happens on October 7th. But lately, later that, he also says, history must be recognized in order to realize this itself. So he counter, I think he, 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 he has a fallacy and he counters his own argument. And I want to say that, the, as they have mentioned before, Gaza Strip is densely populated with over two million people in its state. And it's near the Egyptian border. The, Egypt, the Egyptian border, mind you, are also Muslims. But the Egyptian border does not open the border for them, even though they are Muslims. And I think it's pretty clear that even Muslims themselves don't want the Hamas to be their neighboring states and to blame Israelis for this overpopulation. Warning. To blame Israelis for the overpopulation in Gaza is a fallacy in itself, as Israel is not responsible for the overdensity. I want to end my case by saying that Can we ever talk about proportion in the war in the first place? And if, how can Israel be accused of proportion if there's any proportion in the first place at all? If the Hamas extremist terrorist group, SES, recognize, does not Thanks, recognize sir. any form of arguments regarding peace treaty. Thank you. Thank you so much, C. Zamoya, Aditya Jain, and Peter Gorong for your insightful debate. And with that, we can conclude Mizoram University virtually debate competition. I would like to thank all our debaters for your excellent arguments and passion. Let's give them a big round of applause and cheer. Department of Mathematics and Computer Science. From the Department of Mizo. Department of Planning and Architecture. Thank you, and I'm from Government J. Tankima College, second semester. Hello, hello. Department of Public Administration. Department of Economics, sixth semester, PUC. Department of Mass Communication. Department of Botany. From the Department of Chemistry. Department of Planning and Architecture. Vikas from second semester, Department of Clinical Psychology. Patsuma University College, Department of English, sixth semester, Lalpe Lizo. Oh, contestants, you may go back to your seats. Before we conclude our program, I would like to take a moment to express our thanks to all the debaters who participated with such passion and dedication. Your insightful arguments, critical thinking, and eloquent articulation 
have truly enriched our discussions and provided valuable per perspectives on the topics. And we look forward to witnessing more of your intellectual prowess in future debates. Now, I would like to call our judges to give comments on the debate we just had. Uh, now, may I call Sir Zara, oh, Sir Henry, okay? Hello, everyone. Good afternoon to all of you. Uh, well, the reason why actually we said why, you know, we wanted to know where the departments came from, we, we should have done it in the earlier debate also. Uh, we wanted to know the, the, the participation diversity of the university and very sad to <laughs> say that, you know, a, a very little participation from, uh, in fact, my school, School of Social Science, which is which was supposed to be most related, you know, like Department of History, of course, Social Work, which is my department. We talk about different social problems, etc. But nevertheless, uh, it's a very good, good, it's a very good discourse. See, we always, teachers, we always, you know, uh, get interested, you know, and even motivated when such kind of discourse takes place, but saddens us that, you know, such kind of real, university academic discourse does not get the attention that we would like to have you know see uh, uh, look at look at the participation you know the audience so we have a few of 20 let's say 20 30 people only and I, I, I am a very very critical you know teacher since I've been working here for almost 20 years now and uh, very few academic discourse and I would like to of course uh, uh, take this time opportunity to to uh, request you know in any future ventures of this kind of uh, uh, program that you know it should be filled with such kind of activities you know we're talking about debate it could be a kind of yes there is an essay competition also then you know things related to allocutions etc so on and so forth something that can actually you know where we can actually utilize our skills as, as scholars, as, as students of the university. Uh, you know, uh, <laughs> uh, like I, I was telling my colleagues here that if it's a runway showdown, you know, a fashion show, it would have been filled, you know? So we have to shift the attention of the whoa, whoa, you know what we call it in, in Mizo. Kami, whoa, whoa, real ru, karanti, ang chi, ka, 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 atamlu to kahi, kan, enge, zirlai tahi ati boy tri na. So this whole party feeling, you know, like uh, party, uh, I'm talking about, you know, enjoying, you know, where all these things should lessen. You know, you guys are all already in your postgraduate, you know, course where it has to be more serious and we should attend to more serious stuffs. And that is what is, should be becoming of, you know, a, a good scholar as well as a student. In the earlier debate, uh, was a little bit, you know, uh, we, we uh, thought that it could have been better, but it could be better, you know, like a, a proper kind of, let's say, teamwork. And, and we believe that there was no teamwork among, <laughs> among the movers as well as the opposers. No, teamwork. So, I think all of you prepared personally, you know, by yourself and just came out here today to... Uh, expose uh, whatever you actually uh, mm, prepared. So, as a team, give yourself, you know, one, uh, maybe a week's time, sit together, you know, that would have been more stronger. The second debate was a little bit more enriching. Yes, uh, it's a very critical debate, obviously. Uh, no, no concrete answers to whether, you know, which one is better or which one is better. But uh, it was good. And we hope that these kind of, you know, activities uh, uh, do happen frequently in future, not only during Helai Ringot Nilawa Amuna, even within uh, your departments uh, or even within schools. Tamse nang mani te ponen hei hetiang hinei Tamil te te poti ula quiz ang zita poi omse tro. So katiang kat tamse te sonin aloman te po tamse tro hetiang ahi ane. I mean. Uh, runway showdown, Loman uh, In runway showdown, I asked what was the what was the first prize. It was like sixty thousand. I mean, the debate should be sixty thousand. You know, Zokana, actually, 
khatiang tur zo ka khan eta so kan kan attention ka we must start shifting our attention to you know from he lai thil tli rol ho inan ti me me you know for young kids to a more scholarly you know kind of stuffs and that is what i want to you know like just give a few suggestions and i think my colleagues out here also feel the same way about me and a lot of a lot of a lot of the professors and the teachers also so best of luck uh, i hope the best team wins okay thank you judges would you like to add uh, in addition to sir henry's speech let's welcome mr samuel rotvela Okay, uh, I'd like to thank the organizers for giving me this opportunity. And uh, I'd like to have some comments on the debate. Both the parties were quite preparing well for, the, for their uh, arguments. But uh, the thing that I think the areas that we need to improve on is on how we augmented our sentences. Like uh, we were giving lots of Uh, resources we were providing lots of resources citing from various sources but we need to make that into our own interpretation and if we are able to harness those sources for you know uh, validating our uh, our arguments that would be better than what we have uh, been doing and then uh, i'd like to also say that uh, most of the uh, both the parties have prepared uh, they I think you will need to prepare uh, as a m mover as well as an opposer. So for that, I think most of the presenters were dynamic in their own stance. And as international politics is something, uh, as I, I wanted to quote uh, Hans J. Morgenthau's word, uh, international politics is something which is about a struggle for power and peace. And this struggle for power and peace will always bring uh, violence, he said that. Because in search of power, we incite violence on the other, and in search of peace as well, we wanted to wipe out any, uh, any possible uh, perpetrators on our own way. So international politics is something which is a search for power and peace. Thank you. Okay, now I'll announce the result of Mizo debate competition and after that we'll announce English debate competition result. Tuna Mizo debate result competition can love puang do nanga e tsumi matsuan til pakat ke thengi lok kan judge te hi e hetiang lai muna e voini ani lenga milo chut puya anil lu ngai to ana senga e an thiam na te senga hun ni ron man pui awa nga lom thu soina เอ่อทิลเฉเดกันลานโดนะหวยติงอินอาชัยกันเราเก่งเพย์เซล่ะอีกันเอสซีจอยน์สิเกรตารีค่ะคงอินลานทุรินเราช่วยเทมอสเต
pakat na pakat na cing kan puang ang pakat na tu first semester second semester political science department na cing in bira pata kay la a o memo ni hi ani juanin adon sak tu tu ka kanom juan ko ngay lokal ula juan sarzar ka ko ngay tukin ka lau request de ang aloman lan tu tu rin kan soy ta kung hello man hi anin po sa fai cheng sing kat le certificate aking tila ni sir amin balang individual lang in fact inakal kan debate sim sim hi Kita mungkin kan organise lah. Soan, Miss Irene ni kak, kau ni takin laut sahul bela. Se, lomban penih na minlan sakturin. Tunggu penih na ni kan penih na tura kan rin le. Kan siang em, le. Misau debate competition na penih na tu. Fourth semester. Misau department na cengin. Joyce Ilarin Diki. Oh, hello man here ni. Pui Safai Cheng Sangha le certificate aking tila ni. Kut bengi lau loom le ilah. Tu na hiyan English debate competition na kan scores te an bel ko me ka i 5 minutes or 3 minutes break bel kan lalo ka nga juan result ni kan lau let le doon ni. We're so sorry for the delay, but on the good side, we now have the result of the debate that we just uh, saw and heard. So I would like to call uh, two of our judges to distribute our prize. Holder for Missouri University Virtue Debate Competition goes to Miss Lau Thang Moya. Thank you so much, sir. Now. Okay, the best debater or the first position for Missouri University Virtue Debate Competition English round goes to Valma Somkonga. Missouri University VT debate competition, and I would like to thank, as a, on the behalf of the organizing committee, to all our participants, our dear judges, and our audience for us patiently sitting with us and uh, compete in this competition. See you all next year. Thank you.